those dirty looks, huh? <laughs> and then what about those snickers when you walk past? What about these people laughing at you and trying to make you feel some type of way? And apparently it's supposed to be unbeknownst to you, right? The dirty looks, the, the dirty glares, right? People are looking at you and snickering at you because they want you to feel insecure about yourself. Bottom line. They want you to feel concerned about who you are. So when they laugh at you and you don't know what's so funny, you want to know, you want in on the joke. You want to know what's so funny so maybe you can laugh too. These people don't want you to laugh with them. They want to laugh at you, okay? So you feel concerned about who you are as an individual. People will give you dirty looks because they want you to feel threatened by them, concerned about them, concerned about your place in that space, all right? People want you to feel concerned, worried, insecure, feel small. Even though you're big, you got a big spirit and they know this. That's why they move the way they move with you. Understand that these dirty looks are meant to intimidate you. These looks are looks of envy and jealousy poking out. These people can't even hide how they really feel. Trust me, as covert as they may think they are, they're showing what they really feel. When you pull up on the scene, you make people feel nervous. So they got to make you nervous first, right? They got to show some sort of dominance, have some kind of power over you. So when people give you dirty looks, it's like trying to dumb you down in a certain way. When they snicker at you, when you say something and they start snickering and you're asking them, what, what's so funny? Oh, nothing, nothing. Like they don't want to, they don't want you to know what's going on. They don't want to tell you what they're laughing at because you're the subject of that laughter. You're the person that they want to mock. You're the person that they're trying to tease low key, trying to diss you, trying to diss you because you're different. You're not like them. They know this. So they got to laugh at you first. Keep from crying. Sometimes they have to laugh to keep from crying, laugh to keep from shrinking in their seat beside somebody like you. Understand that these dirty looks and these snickers and these uh, sort of taunts that people will put on you when you're around them, when you're in their midst, is to intimidate you, is to make you feel small, is to make you feel unworthy, to make you feel like you're, you don't really matter at all. But understand that when these people move like this with you and you know you've done nothing to them, because a lot of times you don't have to do nothing but be yourself. That's all it takes is for you to be yourself for these people to act some weird type of way around you, right? So understand that when these people move this way with you, you know you're doing something special. You know, the dirty looks and the snickers and the sneers, all these negative things that these people do are meant to make you uncomfortable. But you, you really know what's going on. Understand that you're making them uncomfortable. You're making them feel unworthy. You're making them feel sad. You're making them feel upset. You're making them feel threatened, okay? They couldn't threaten you with these dirty looks because you know you didn't do nothing. You didn't know you didn't say nothing. You probably helped a lot of these people. And here they are snickering, ha-ha, and hee-heeing, right? That's what they do best. But what you do best is elevate. What you do best is keep grinding. What you do best is keep shining. You keep going down your lane, and don't step out of that lane for nothing, for nobody. And you're going to see these dirty looks continuing for the rest of your life. These snickers will always happen for the rest of your life from people who are intimidated by you, scared of you, worried about you. All right. Stay up.